Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 30. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find which DB2 thread is consuming high CPU usage. Uh, this slide talks about the solution. Uh, whenever a DB2 instance is start started, there is a single process for DB2 that is um, created in the OS. That process name is called as DB2 sysc. And whatever activities you are doing on this instance, like say connecting to the database, running backup of a database or uh, running some utilities like load, export, import, load, etc. So whatever activities you do on that instance, for all those activities, individual threads will be spawned under that process. So this is like a multi-threaded implementation. So this particular uh, threaded model for the process architecture has been introduced from version 9.5 and above. So from the OS side, you will see only one process, db 2 cc for one instance. Now how to identify then um, which db2 thread is consuming the high cpu so for that you can use the os commands top in linux with the uh, switch hyphen h so which means for that particular uh, process it will display the threaded view of that process so top hyphen hp p is for the process id so we have to provide db2 sysc pid which we got for that instance when we start right so that we have to pass so using the top command hyphen hp option we can get the threaded view of the db2 sysc process and for individual threads there it will tell how much of percentage of cpu is consumed how much of memory is consumed so this is the os level command similarly ps command the process command also can be used ps hyphen lp l is for the threaded view p is for passing the db2 sysc process id hyphen o is like the output what we want we want the pid ppid percentage CPU, percentage memory and LWP. LWP is the thread ID, individual thread ID. So uh, what will happen is after finding out which uh, thread ID is responsible, we want a thread name actually. So we can use the db2pd-edus command. So that will give for that particular thread ID, what is the db2 thread name. So the db2 thread name is something like db2 rebal, which is for uh, re rebalancing of containers, uh, db2 uh, LRID or DB2 LBM like there are multiple uh, thread names for uh, for the type of activities that you do uh, for uh, if there is a client client connection uh, to the database then there will be DB2 agent that will be spawned on uh, on the server side so that can also be seen using DB2 PD hyphen EDUs so let us quickly jump into few examples I will show you demonstrate it clearly Okay, first the instance is started. Okay, the instance is already started. First, we'll look at what is the DB2 CC process. Okay, currently it is uh, already started. So, what is the process ID for our instance? So, you can see here DB2 CC process is running 2483. Okay, that is the process ID for DB2 CC. So, for our instance, this is the ID. Okay, process ID 2483. Now, under that process, we can use top hyphen HP for displaying the individual threads okay so let us go and display that so this command will tell you so more than some 10 threads are running so it will tell you percentage cpu percentage memory so as of now the instance nothing is happening so there is no high cpu usage or high memory usage it's all looking normal to us so these are all the various threads now in this threads you will see that the see, see here command it it's all showing db2 cc db2 cc like that which means uh, the individual thread name is not available here okay the same kind of information can be obtained from the next output also ps hyphen lp okay so even uh, there also we can get the same output see here this is also providing the same output for process id 2483 what is the percentage cpu what is the percentage memory and what are those individual thread IDs? Okay, so these are the individual thread IDs that is also given here. Okay, then DB2 PD hyphen EDUs. See for each each of these individual thread IDs, what is my uh, thread name? DB2 thread name or DB2 process name? So that if I want to find out, I can find out here. See here like 3099. So that is like 3099 here also is there, which is a DB2 agent. So which means it is an agent spawned at the server side uh, for if there is an, uh, some connection uh, to the database then this agent can be reused okay similarly db2 tcp cm 
TCPCM, IPCM. These are all for uh, these are all the the communication uh, processes. So which will be uh, the TCP/IP uh, uh, communication process, which is running on the server side, which will be listening on the uh, TCP/IP ports. So those process uh, IDs are twenty four ninety seven, twenty four ninety six, twenty four ninety five. So you can see here twenty four ninety five. 2496 2497 these are the thread ids okay and these are not consuming any uh, high cpu usage or memory usage as of now okay so using the thread name also we can find out which thread is consuming the most cpu then from the name of the thread we know what is the functionality of the thread so we can attack the problem that way okay so let me just demonstrate that with an example okay okay now uh, in terminal 2 i am running db2 hyphen tvf some app dot sql so somebody is running this sql we don't know what it is okay and this will result in a high cpu usage uh, we will debug using the os commands and the db2 commands we will find out what this particular uh, th uh, this application is doing okay so copy and we'll come here we we'll just run this okay let me minimize it so i'm not seeing what it is now whether uh, we'll uh, whether it is creating some high CPU usage. We'll look at that using the top command. Okay. So when I use the top command, I can see here three one five two is consistently using CPU usage of twenty two percent. See the PID. This is the thread ID actually. So three one five two is consistently using CPU usage, fifteen percent CPU, twenty four percent CPU like that. But I do not know what is the individual. Uh, thread name similarly i can get the same information from ps command also see here uh, i can see that see same 22.5 percentage 3152 is the id thread id is 3152 it is consuming 22.5 percentage of the uh, cpu so that is the highest cpu usage overall if you can look at this see everything is zero 3152 is consistently at 20 percent 25 percent it is hovering at that so we can easily find out what is uh, 3152 is what we need to find out. So DB2 PD hyphen EDUs and look for 3152. Okay. So let us wait for some time. So 3152. Okay. See here. So this is 3152. So this is that ID I am talking about, thread ID. So for this thread ID, this is the EDU ID. Okay. And the EDU name is DB2 LRID. So from this EDU thread name itself, we can easily say that. This is DB2 load that is running because this process is called as DB2L means DB2 load and RID means uh, it is rebuilding the index. So during that time it has to sort the index keys. So an RID scan is going on like that. So definitely there is a load running. Okay, we can be very sure of it. So because from the process name itself we can easily get that information. So for that we will run DB2 list utilities. Okay. So if our, uh, if we as per our analysis from the uh, thread we got that it is db2 lrid which means some load is running see when i run the list utilities command it is clearly showing a load is running okay and it's also giving the load id see this also is an important information from this load id see 22 dot something the date timestamp is there when the load is started like that this 22 is actually a very important piece of information because this is the edu id of the load command okay so whoever has initiated the load command has initiated from the edu id 22 so what is the edu id 22 we need to find out okay so for that what we can do is we can get snapshot for applications so get snapshot for application on test i am printing only two things application handle and coordinator agent okay so here you will find that for coordinator agent 22 yes see here there is a coordinator agent or thread id 22 for that application handle is 8 so definitely there is a application handle 8 see look at now db2 list applications see the application handle is 8 and this particular application only is running that load utility so because the uh, application handles coordinator agent id is 22 the load id is having that 22 
so this particular application is only responsible for that load activity so it is as simple as that we can map from the os commands or you can run from the db2 pd hyphen edus also and once that load utility see now everything is gone actually see all the db2l process is all gone which means that the load utility has you know probably completed the uh, execution okay uh, sorry db2 list utilities see no 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 data is returned for list utilities and list application is also there is nothing so which means the application has disconnected also we saw that application handle was 8 right this application has completed its job and it has disconnected also okay but during that execution that load uh, process alone was consuming a 20% to 25% of cpu so that is what we analyzed now so let us just confirm that in this terminal see here load activity is running see the load command is running uh, the app.sql is connecting to the uh, database it is running the load with uh, uh, rebuild index see rebuild index so this is why that uh, uh, db2 lrid process was running in the background okay and you can see that it has committed the operation and it has connect reset also because of which all the uh, process on the server side uh, has been uh, cleared so we don't see any db2 lrid process or db2 database is also active like that okay so this is how we can easily analyze uh, which particular thread is responsible for high cpu usage you can also use for high memory usage also because the commands uh, actually you can see it is both giving uh, cpu percentage and memory percentage so you can use it for both things so you can see here 22 percentage was consumed by 3152 okay it's as simple as that we, we just need to run the os commands and the db2 pd hyphen edus from the name of the edu we can know the, the functionality of the edu from there we can easily predict see sometimes you will find db2 page pc ln lnr means page cleaner this will also consume lot of cpu uh, what this process will do this will uh, take the dirty data from the buffer pool uh, and from the memory area of the buffer pool and write it to the disk so that is the page cleaning activity so sometimes if this is happening you will find that the, this particular agent id is uh, consuming the uh, lot of uh, high cpu usage like that okay so you can very easily analyze using uh, this method okay that's it in this video tutorial uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial thanks bye bye